from Aviva Toys Snoopy Battery Operated Speedway. This is a really cool toy. I believe it's from the late 60s, early 70s, around there somewhere. And basically it's a racing game. Got two lanes and you have an elevator here that's battery operated to bring the cars to the top of the track and then you race down to the end again. Pretty cool toy. I've always liked these kind of toys growing up. I had one that had a, a dune buggy that would do different things as it went around the track. But anyway, this one's branded Snoopy. This was sold from Woolworth Woolco. Looks like it was $15.99 back then. Some neat box art here. Shows the actual toy put together. Which comes in handy when you don't have the instructions. There are instructions in here, but they're pretty you know, beat up from shuffling inside the box. You can't really read them that well. Here on the side it shows some of the cars included. Which I'll show uh, a close-up here in a second. Four race cars with Snoopy, Woodstock, Charlie Brown, and Lucy. Double track with exciting quartering. <laughs> Let's look at inside the box. Oop. So here's our track. Pretty neat how they interlock together. It's kind of like Hot Wheels track almost. Got a little tongue right there. So put these off to the side. We get to the elevator module. Which looks really, really nice. This is cool. It's got some great peanuts artwork on the side. You got Stupidy's race car, Woodstock, Lucy. Runs on one D battery. This goes behind this door right here if I get it open. Maybe. Yep, get open. There we go. 1D battery. Got our on off switch here. Then we have the elevator section. Rubber tracks. Brings the cars to the top. This one has a little bit of damage to it. You see it's got it's melted a little bit here. Which is unfortunate, but it still works. And on this side we have uh, Charlie Brown included. I love the artwork on this. So cool. Let's see, what else we got in this box here? Oh, let's see. We have... Here's the instructions I was talking about. They did not make it very well. <laughs> this is what happens. We have instructions floating loose in a box. From all the parts shuffling around it just chewed them up. Which is unfortunate. I mean, it gives you some little bit of indication here how to put it together. But mainly I just used the uh, picture on the box to put this thing together originally to get it working. I had to restore this one. When I picked it up the motor didn't work and all that was wrong is the motor was seized up. So I freed it, freed it up, uh, put some good oil on it. Now it runs really well. Let's see, what else we got here? We have our, our starting gate and the start. And of course we have our four cars. We'll take a closer look at those here in a second. So we're up the starting gate here. So here's the Snoopy Speedway. Awesome. And here's the starting gate that we put at the top to lift up to start the race. It says start right there. And of course we have our four cars and we have some decals to put on the cars. Got their names, their vehicle number. Please put these seals on each car as illustrated on the box. Well, maybe I don't want to. Of course here's Woodstock in his red car. Cool. And we have Charlie Brown in his white dragster car here. Pretty cool. And of course we have Lucy in her yellow car. 
And then we have Snoopy in his blue car. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and put the decals on the cars. And we'll get the track set up, and then we'll watch a few races. Alright, got the decals installed. So now you see Snoopy is number one, with his name on the back of the car. Chuck Charlie Brown is number three. Woodstock, number two. And Lucy, number four. All right. Now let's put the racetrack together and do some racing. Now one of the things that helps putting the track together, you'll see there's little numbers in a circle. This is track section number two, which goes on to the base of the elevator. So you go look for a track section that has a number three on this little end piece. Hey, focus. Quit that. Focus. There's a little three on There it is. You can see the three right there. So you put the three without a circle into the two with a circle to insert the tab. Pretty, a pretty nice way to put this together in case you've lost the instructions. <laughs> so we bring it around. And then we insert the tab into the piece of track and then put it together just like that. And then you got the track pieces that go through the elevator. You want to make sure you get them on these little snaps right here that helps add rigidity to the track and the toy when you do that so they don't come apart as easily when it's running. And here is the Speedway fully assembled. Even though the instructions were all messed up, if you just follow that little hint I was talking about by just going up the numbers on each on each piece, uh, you can put it together fairly quickly, fairly easy without the instructions. It's such a shame that it's got a little bit of damage to it, because otherwise it would have been a, a pristine toy. But anyway, it's still really cool. We're going to put some of the cars on here, stick a battery in it, and run a few laps to see how well it works. Well, that was Snoopy Speedway, another really great vintage toy 
from the late 60s, early 70s. I really enjoy having in my collection. Love these battery-operated little toys from back then. As always, everyone, thanks for watching.